name's Keith. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this ground mount system to mount four 440 watt solar panels. These are bifacial. I'm hoping to collect some sun off the white siding behind it. And then we're going to do some testing to see how this works going into my 6000 XP from EG4 and my indoor Power Pro battery that I have hooked to it. So stay tuned. I'll get to showing you how I put this thing together. I'm going to be doing four of these to start with. So I'm going to do four horizontal mounts, panels like that. So we're going to figure about 45 to 46 inches wide per panel with the spacing between them for the clamps. I figure two eight foot long two by fours joined together in the middle. That'll give me 16 feet. There should be plenty for four of them with room for clamps on the end and between all of them. So let's get started. Two eight footers, totally all together in the middle, make 16 feet total width. And then I took the other two two by fours, cut them in half to four feet, so I got a four foot spacing top to bottom. Space them 64 inches apart, three equal spots. And I did measure corner to corner, as you saw in the time lapse. Um, that's just to make sure everything is square, all four sides. So now that I have that done, um, I'm gonna build some sort of base. I have a few chunks of treated four by four, four of them, and that'll be the base that I'll put on the ground and I'll build off of that. I build a small riser in the front for the bottom part and then a big riser in the back for the back. And then I'll be angle bracing everything so it doesn't swing around or whatever. So, so I got my four by fours, treated four by fours. I have four of them that are eight feet long. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get them underneath there and start figuring out how tall I need to make the front and back. Now these old 4x4s are just stuff I had laying around from a different project I took apart. Uh, <clears throat> so they're well used, but since they are treated, they really don't go bad. Without breaking my solar panel. One more. Give it a couple feet. I don't know how tall I need it. 16 inches. The reason I went four foot between these is because on the back there's mounting holes where they recommend you clamp them down or mount them and they're about 44 inches apart. So I went with the four foot spacing, it should be pretty close. So I'm gonna cut four 16 inches. I'll have to figure out some angles for the back. Okay, I have 16 inch short side and a 41 inch short side. Now I probably should have made this one a lot longer because I did cut a 45 degree angle on them just to give me clearance underneath the solar panel for mounting it to the side of the bracing. It's going to go in here. This one going to go here. Nail these to the side, nail these to the side down here and then uh, get it tipped up. It should be at a pretty decent angle. The mounts I'm using just clamp to the side and they get bolted right down to the, the wood frame. So yeah, I'm going to get a couple more boards cut and then uh, get this thing tipped up. Okay, so I got my pieces cut uh, for the uprights. Now what I'm gonna do is go on the four by fours, mark two feet up on all of them, so I know where to put my first short bracing. Once I get those marked, I get those nailed on, and I'm gonna have to kind of take a guess at where the back one goes. I didn't do the math, I can't figure out the math right now. So I wanna keep it around that 40 degree mark just because 40 to 45 degrees. Um, we got a pretty high sun now, it's getting later near. It is the end of January in Wisconsin. Okay, here we go. Let's start nailing these things on. I did actually bring a square. Let's go this way. I don't shoot myself in the knee with a nail. It's easier to hold it all like this while I'm going in it. What I'm going to do is get the framework 
The other side of these things, actually what I might do is put a nail on each one of those right there. I can just pivot it up. Menard's lumber sucks. Hey, that's kind of neat. Hell yeah. All right. So, I go full 45. That's actually pretty darn good. It's just kind of a slapper together quick. Take a rough measurement. Front to back here, about 32. Seriously, is that where I measured that from? I already forgot where I measured it from. Now I need to separate all four of these two by, or all four of these four by fours to make sure they're the same distance apart as these are. A couple more two by fours cut down between all of them so they're all the same distance what I'll probably do is do some angle bracing down like a triangle because keep it from going this way as well All right, we're getting a little more secure now. Now I need to put a couple braces in diagonally. I'm gonna be good. We are moving right along. This is looking good. Not too heavy. I have a lot of room to put down weights on there to keep it anchored down. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be able to get this thing wired up into the 6000 XP. I'm gonna stick a couple braces off the back here just for a little reassurance. They aren't gonna be huge. I'm just gonna throw them in there quick. And then I'm gonna get this thing drug over in front of the house and then we're gonna start mounting panels. There's really nothing scientific about this stuff here. It's just kinda slapping around there so it's there. All right, that'll work. Let's get this thing drug over to the house. All right, welcome to the front of my house. Uh, I'm gonna go get the other three panels, lay them out here. I'm also gonna grab the mounts and put them in here. Because I don't want my expensive panels to blow away, Throw a clamp on them quick. Oh, that wind is something today. Holy cow. Clamp this thing down. All right, so these mounts I got, I just got these off of Amazon, but they're just some roof mounts. But I'm gonna use these because they go together pretty easy. I'm gonna start putting these together. Eight clamps, end clamps, mounts. Ah, oh, get mini rails. Pretty straightforward looking here. All right, so got all the clamps and sets together. This is basically what they look like. They're a little mini rail system. This gets bolted to that. This clamp here slides on the top. It clamps down the panel. Uh, I'll it this way. It clamps the panel down between the rail and there. And then they just give you a big screw 
screw into your roof or your mount like I have here. So got them all put together. Now we're gonna start getting them mounted and then I'm gonna start getting the panels on there and see how that goes. I guess they're not gonna stay until I got a panel on there. There we go, it's kind of on there. Should give me enough room at least to get these mounted and then I can get it underneath there. All right, different approach here. Move this panel. <clears throat> Sorry, banner. Center of this to the outside edge of that. that should give me a pretty good guesstimate here. 45, 44 and a half. I'm gonna add an inch because that'll be inside of that. So 44 and a half, 45 and a half to the center. All right, let's try that. All right, let's try this again. Get some mid clamps out. show you what I just ran into for a problem. When I had these adjusted, I wanted them really low. As you can see, this sticks above that rail. So I need to move this rail up so the angle bracket is below the top of the rail. So I gotta do that with the rest of these here. And I'm just gonna continue going along and get these mounted up. And then hopefully, I'll talk to you when it's all done. Okay. I got a little pro tip. These mid clamps, you probably saw me over there put some tape on them in the middle if you maybe caught that, but what you do is you slide this in, slide it up against the end panel and you put tape over the top of this to the panel and that keeps it from falling back down while you're trying to get your next panel in there. So I'll show you a little. And then take your piece of duct tape or whatever you got, put it over the top of the clamp and then you hold it right to the panel definitely does help. All right. Set it down, set it down. All right. Okay. It should work. Oh gosh. That's some nice noises there. in. Alrighty, here we go. That is how you put together your own ground mount system for your solar panels. Now this is not a complete system, this is just four 440 watt panels. If you're interested in any of these panels, I do have links in the description below for Signature Solar. And if you order them through Signature Solar using my link, you get an automatic $50 off your order at checkout. So the only thing I have to do now is get it wired up and tied into my 6000 XP. I'll show you that on the next video.
Thanks for watching. If you got any questions, throw them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them. You ever wonder? No, me either. <laughs>